uh, in this installment of Learning During a Pandemic, we're going to be talking about pH because what else do you do during a pandemic but teach chemistry? So pH is a measure of the hydrogen ion concentration in solution. Uh, basically what we have here, just our basic equation, uh, we have H2O breaking up into H3O plus and OH minus. So that's going to be the basis of all acid-base chemistry that we're going to be covering. Uh, it's worth noting that you're going to see H3O plus, but H3O plus is essentially, the sa it is the same thing as H plus. So if you see those terms interchange, just know that it, it flies, that's all good. So basically, you got your equation, and then you know that you can set up an equilibrium constant equation. So our Kw, the W standing for water in this case, is going to be our products, which are H3O plus, OH minus, is equal to Kw. And in this case, Kw is 1 times 10 to the negative 14. All right, so basically, if you want to rearrange this, what you can do, take the logarithm of both sides, you end up with pH plus POH equals 14, which is a pretty nice, simple equation. Uh, we circled these here, uh, H and OH, to kind of show you that they deal with our H plus concentration and our hydroxide concentration. Uh, just some other basic information here. For a solution to be acidic, we got a pH of less than 7. A basic solution will have a pH greater than 7. And then of course, pure water is a pH equal to 7. We call that a neutral solution. Over here we have a little scale. There are extents to how acidic and basic things can be. So a strong acid is going to be around 0 to 1 in this range. Uh, we have HCl is one of our strong acids. Then we go start moving up closer to 7. Uh, you get into weak acids. Orange juice would be an example of that. Again, we got pure H2O here at 7. And you start getting into the more basics. Now we're above 7. So we have weak bases. Bleach would be an example, around 10. And then, of course, strong bases are at the end of the scale, and that'd be sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide. So that's just kind of a rundown of basic acid-base chemistry and the scale, the pH scale. These are important equations here that we're going to be manipulating. We got pH is equal to the negative log of our H plus concentration. So with that, you know, you can either get a pH by measuring it and then using that pH, you can find your hydroxide or your um, H plus concentration. And then you can rearrange the equation if you get, if you want to find your uh, hydroxide or H plus concentration, you can take 10 to the negative pH. So those equations go hand in hand. It's just a rearrangement, and one is to get pH, the other to get H plus concentration. And of course, this works with OH as well. So we got POH equals negative log of OH concentration. If you want to find your OH concentration, you just do 10 to the negative POH. Same deal, just with hydroxide instead of H plus. So that's basically it for our basic acid-base chemistry. Uh, we're going to get into strong acids and bases, that, bases, and then we're going to do weak acids and bases, and then we're going to get into like salt dissolution chemistry as well.